Family, friends, and BMX fans throughout the country mourn the death of pro BMX icon Dave Mira. Greenville police are investigating it as a suicide. The 41-year-old athlete is survived by his wife and two children. WNCT's Brandon Goldner has more on the investigation. Brandon. Angela, Ken, a lot of people are wondering what exactly happened. Right now, police are limiting, releasing limited information. Greenville police responded to a house on Pinewood Road around 4 Thursday afternoon. They found Dave Mira in his truck where they believe he shot himself. Officers say he had been visiting friends before his death. Greenville Mayor Alan Thomas knew Mira and says the impact of his death spreads beyond the city's borders. It's really hard to talk about. Just, just such a great guy and uh, everybody who knows Dave and, and he was just such a friendly and humble guy around this community. Especially to kids aspiring to be just like him. Mira's childhood friend and fellow competitor Keith King recalls a recent conversation he had with Mira. Six months ago, I'm like, dude, there are still people out there that, you know, look up to you and love you and um, you're a hero. A hero in the community now home to more than 20 professional BMXers. Mira's credited for introducing Greenville to the sport, one in which he dominated. He's the best that we've ever had, and I don't think that anybody will ever be able to, you know, top that. It's just a sad day here in Greenville, a life, a life cut too short, and you just wish you could have got to him and understood, but, um, you know, we're going to miss him. It's a sad day. Mira is survived by his wife and two children. Chief Mark Holtzman and Mayor Alan Thomas will hold a press conference tomorrow morning on Mira's death. Brandon Goldner, nigh on your side. All right, thank you, Brandon. Our team coverage continues tonight with sports director Brian Bailey, who's covered Dave Mira since he arrived in Eastern North Carolina. Brian, I know you were as stunned as everyone else when the news broke tonight. Mira's death, a huge loss to Eastern North Carolina. Brian joins us from the sports department in the newsroom with more. Hey, Ken, it's a loss for the entire sports world. Dave Mira was to BMX, what Michael Jordan was to the NBA, what Babe Ruth or Hank Aaron was to Major League Baseball. He was simply the best of the best. And the last time I had the chance to interview Dave Mir was on the sideline at the East Carolina Temple game on the big screen at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. Dave Mir was a hero to many, whether he was performing on national television and joking it up with David Letterman or back at home at J.C. Park where it all began. He was shooting a commercial and he came home to Greenville to do it. Dave Mir starred in video games. He could fly like an eagle. He was an icon to the BMX world the winningest BMX athlete in history until 2013. He once said it's not who wants to win the most, it's who's not scared to lose. Dave Mira was 41 years old, taken from us way too soon with today's tragedy. We will have more on Dave Mira's death coming up later tonight in sports. Ken Angela, back to you guys in the studio. All right, thank you, Bailey. And as we mentioned earlier, condolences are coming in from around the world. X Games have released a statement extending their condolences and appreciation for Dave Mira. We'll, of course, keep you up to date on Mira's story right here on 9 on your side. And we will be streaming that press conference live tomorrow morning starting at 9 o'clock on our website and on the free WNCT mobile app. You can find all the latest news and updates on this story and others at WNCT.com.